Hey, what's up everybody? Well, let's see if I can't get you some video of the uh, of this. This is the Traxxas app. You have the Traxxas Wi-Fi link um, added to the radio and we got the roof rack lights. I guess those are called expedition lights. We got the roof rack. We got idiots on the phone. We have the winch put in. We have uh, the underside lights up underneath here. The uh, rock lights. And like I told you guys before, I, I removed the, um, what they call the fog light and the backup light reverse light they are stuck up in this little hole right up in here and you can't really see them anyhow so I'm going to use those two ports for different things but let's just kind of see how all this works so this is what I have currently set up on my menu and everything is changeable it's all customizable to however you like it so <clears throat> Hold on a second, I got a f another holder somewhere around here. There we go, right here. Got this holder. And I can't run Wi Fi on the camera and Wi Fi on the app at the same time and record. So this is where this all becomes kind of fun, so I can't get it all together. So down here on the bottom, you have master controls. Okay, so everything is off. I can punch that I can punch that there we go and those are the pre-selects that come on here let's do this again let's get it down about like that okay so we'll hit this everything's off pre-select that's just the headlight low the auxiliary lights here what else do we have coming on um do we have any lights on up on it no that's the sunlight coming through the window <laughs> okay all right and then uh, number three that should be everything there we go everything lights up so we have the parking lights the high beams we have the high on the auxiliary lights, the roof bar light or rack, um, luggage rack. We have the expedition lights and the rock lights up underneath and the parking lights are on. Okay. Ta-da. And then I can turn off each one individually if I so choose. Okay, and this will be the parking and parking lights, these, these, and um, up here. Okay, and the um, auxiliary lights are going to go from high to low, and the rock lights turn on and off as well and we'll just turn those off completely and then headlights low beam headlights off and of course you have your turn signals and all that good stuff um, okay along with the side markers okay so here you go let me give you the rundown on how I broke this down so far I don't know if you can read that or not Whew. so on the module mounted to the chassis you have 12 ports to plug into you're only technically going to be able to use six of them from 9 to 12 you're not going to use because those are already um, allotted for your turn signals 
two for turn signals, two for headlights, and one of them for, I forgot what it was, something else. Anyway, you can't use them. So you can use one, two, three, four, skip number six because that's used, that's used for the brake light. And you can't use number eight because that's used for the reverse light. Now unless you have a light that comes on only when you go into the reverse mode with the trigger on the transmitter, that'll work, but I don't know what you're going to do unless you have a high mounted um, brake light or something like that. So then I got it marked over here. If you want to plug into the module on the body or tap out of that, there's the ma the um, the letter that you use on the body module, which would be G, is connected to the high and low headlight. M will be to the auxiliary lights for the low and for the high. The D port will be the same as the parking lights, so that's how I got all this stuff figured out between the parking lights and the auxiliary lights and all that kind of stuff. And then the roof rack number seven, that's an open port. You can use that for anything. And that's how I ended up getting that light to work. So Traxxas does make a couple of the one to one to two splitter or two to four splitter that works out really well to help to help separate all this stuff and you can use a splitter on a splitter and actually get a whole lot different options so there you have it folks yay and even though I wanted to set this up just like the uh, Bronco that I have right here I got that one set up pretty good just about every light is the same on the Bronco as it is on the G63 except for the light that's right up in the bumper I don't have that one connected I do have it which is right here I have it I just don't know where to put it I can't put it in the grill I can't I don't know where to put it I mean, unless I somehow know to modify this thing right here and have a double light up in there, but that would look kind of goofy. Thought about actually just putting it in the grill, but then I got the winch right behind it, so that might not work too well. Okay. But uh, dun, 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 dun. okay, there we go. That's about the best I can do as far as getting the app and the lights all at the same time. Now this is on my Acaso action cam. It's the Brave 7LE. I like it. It has Wi-Fi. I just can't run the Wi-Fi on the camera and the phone at the same time. Or at least I don't know how. So that's it for now guys. Take care, see you on the trails, and I'm gonna get this thing to, oh, I got another treat coming for you guys. We're gonna open this thing up. I'm gonna take this out, and we're gonna put a, install the, uh, I think it's called the Huntsman, the actual bed. I'm gonna put that in, okay? Stay tuned for that one. As of for now, have fun, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys later.